said no go on password, so she's thumbs up. For the first time in its history, the U.S. Army and Japan's Ground Self-Defense Force's annual bilateral exercise, Yamasakura, is incorporating cyber defense scenarios into the playbook. Role players acting as opposing forces create these scenarios and then introduce them into the overall exercise. Flag the council on uh, Century's J. We did some observation of a cyber scenario inject that involved a phishing phone call. Um, the attempt was to gain access to the username and password and we, we observed both the Japanese and the U.S. in their response to these phone calls. And all this information will be used to create SOPs in the future. To be successful, both the U.S. and Japan must work together to address the cyber threat, exchanging best practices and information so that going forward, they can build a network that can withstand the constantly changing world of cyber attacks. We've had uh, really good cooperation uh, from our, our Japanese counterparts, especially uh, in the area of, of uh, cyber defense. And these lessons learned can be uh, incorporated dynamically into the uh, daily routine at, at First Corps uh, and as our preparation for future exercises with the Japanese Northern Army. We're protecting that network uh, while at the same time maybe giving options to the commander uh, to uh, restrict the enemy from having those same those same kind of options. Not all warfare is fought on the battlefield. And when the fight shifts to the virtual landscape, exercises like Yamasakura are leading the way in developing methods to ensure we're secure on all fronts. From Camp Higashi Chitose, Japan, I'm Army Sergeant Nate Bowen.